I was wondering if you could talk about the the lead track of the record, Mr. X with Slash and Duff. Because Cherie said that's yeah. uh, that used to be that was supposed to be a Velvet Revolver song. Can you tell us about uh, the track in its infancy and how it made the album? Yeah, well, you know, that song was actually written by me and Duff. Like, Duff used to come over to my house, and I have a recording studio. And we were all, you know, we all offer songs when we make records. And, you know, Velvet Revolver, I wrote more songs that, you know, I didn't come up with chords and stuff or any GNR stuff, but when Velvet Revolver came along, I started writing more. And, and I wrote a, a riff for a song called Set Me Free mm. on the first album. That was that was my riff. And I remember playing that for Slash and him kind of looking at me and going, oh, it's pretty good. <laughs> and that really opened up my songwriting. I, the fact that I had acknowledgement for you know, this great guitarist. And, so anyway, we started writing. Me and Duff started writing together, just the two of us. And uh, he'd come over and I'd have a little guitar riff or he'd have a riff and you know, I don't know if you know this much about Duff, but Duff's a drummer, too. You know, he started out as a drummer, so... Duff, Duff would get on the drums, and I'd play guitar, and vice versa. And we ended up coming up with that song, Mr. X, and then we had another song. I can't remember what the heck we called it, but... We started sending out those two songs for demos. For We were looking for a singer after Scott. So those were, like, these kind of, like, demo songs. And... and this guy came in, Royston Langdon, from the band Space Hog. Yeah. And he wrote this lyric, Mr. X. And the whole, all the lyrics and the melody were done by Royston. And Royston was really amazing of a singer. I was a real contender. We were thinking about it for a while, like almost about six months. And we felt that he was a little too close to Scott. We really loved him. Mm. But we were looking for something. We didn't, we didn't want to like have it too close to Scott. So, anyway, the song just kind of sat there. And when the three album came along, I, I called those guys. I think Flash came back and did another solo because he didn't want to do the one that went on there. So he came back over and then Duff, I think, Duff fixed his bass too. Because it was kind of rough, you know, it wasn't like, Duff came over and I said, I could just have the same drum track. And I thought it was perfect for Sheree, so she sang it and it just worked. And that's, that's the lead track. 